Good Monday, Makers. Welcome back to another episode of Maker Pie Monday. My name is Dave, and in this episode, we're going to check out a few outdoor showers made out of EMT conduit. Let's get right into it. The first one is posted to the community by Kelly, and it is a simple frame made out of EMT conduit and Maker Pie fittings that allows you to hang a curtain and then get the shower spigot up high. This is just a hose. Uh, you've already probably got this outside maybe and it is attached to this little arm here two t connectors up here to make that arm and then one two three four five six down at the bottom here so we're only using eight t's in total for this whole build combine that with two more 180s that attach uh, this shower curtain ring and these are actually uh, bent you pieces of conduit 90 degree bends here here and here and on the back side and then they just attach with this 180 degree connector uh, you can hang a shower curtain on them without any problem the rings will go right around there and then you've got a nice outdoor shower uh, whether your power goes out or you're just enjoying the summertime outdoors uh, this might be a good inexpensive solution for you uh, really like checking that one out in the community here is another one that has been posted. It's kind of a work in progress. And this is a, Ruby's shared this with us through email. And what Ruby's trying to do is she's trying to do a gravity fed outdoor shower. And this top platform that you can see on the structure, that is for holding the 30 gallon water container. Now 30 gallons, I think at eight pounds a gallon, roughly, is what it is so 240 pounds uh up high is something you definitely have to be careful with i think uh the connectors are going to hold it as far as these 490s and then two t's that she has uh it won't slip down under normal conditions but i think the problem that ruby's running into is that it's a pretty tall structure i mean this is up there i mean that's probably eight nine feet so just having a stable base um, is really important so it doesn't sway. And you can see that she uh, started creating a platform here with four more 90s and then some supports halfway. But this really needs to be mounted. I mean, if you were able to drill into this shed, I would mount this thing right to this space with some two-hole straps. That might be a great idea. I'm not sure, but Ruby, uh, that's really cool. I think also getting it well anchored onto the ground because that's a lot of again that's a lot of weight right so um that's going to be important but she really she's excited about this gravity fed um outdoor shower that she's working on and uh, we really appreciate you posting that to the community ruby love checking it out here is another outdoor shower idea uh project and this is more of a camp and this was left as a review on our website under the t connector so uh, B. Young out of New Jersey left this review, and we really appreciate the review. Uh, they say this Maker Pipe product is very useful and makes all kinds of uh, structures possible. I used it to make an outdoor shower and toilet structure with canvas. Turned out great thanks to Maker Pipe. Uh, this is the finished picture. So, B. Young, thank you so much for these pictures. Uh, there's the camp as a work in progress, and this is the inside toilet with a running sink and toilet. How cool is that? Uh, and you can see maker pipe being used here to hold up the, the sink structure. And then you can get a sense of the frame with some 45s all the way around. That's really neat. And then you've got this canvas here that provides some privacy. Really cool picture there. And then here is a picture outside looking in of the canvas room with the shower. I mean, they've got all kinds of stuff here. This is a really neat build. But I love this, the bat, the bat room, uh, like that. So they've got a door on it, canvas all over. Looks like that the canvas was attached with either, yeah, bungees, ball bungees. Um, and we went over a whole lot of these ideas on how to attach canvas to maker pipe in a latest video. So definitely check that out, uh, including the vent stack. But look at this bat room. Uh, that looks great. And then uh, B. Young has a shower in there. Really neat build. Definitely uh, a wonderful camp, it looks like. 
let's get that out of the way. And uh, there's some more builds with Maker Pipe that Be Young did. But thanks so much for the review, Be Young. I know you definitely pushed the limits with this and showed people kind of what was possible with an outdoor shower um, and, and bathroom setup. Uh, here's one that was posted to the community recently by Thomas, and he made this outdoor shower really inexpensively. And the way Thomas did it was great. Um, Thomas has a basically a pallet that he used for the floor uh, with some refinished and reclaimed wood, and then attached the conduit structure in with this hack, which is three quarter inch pipe flanges and then conduit, three quarter inch conduit set screw fitting screwed in. So he's got the four posts with these flanges right into the pallet, which I think is great. And then uh, you can see got the tankless hot water heater right there uh, mounted on the frame. And I, I want to, this was new by me, so I want to show this because I think this is really neat, and I didn't understand that you could get a tankless hot water heater that runs off a hose that runs off propane for $160 on Amazon. Take a look at that. Now, it's not the exact one, uh, but if you want hot water in your camp shower, whether it's for when the power goes out, an emergency, or you're just camping, this might be a great solution. And Thomas was saying that he uh, originally bought that hot water heater when he had a hurricane and they lost power, but has since set up this whole uh, outdoor shower with it and uh, definitely did it with a lot of materials that they had around the house and that were inexpensive. There you can see a good picture of the, of the way to get the conduit attached to the pallet. See, and this is the three-quarter inch EMT um, set screw fitting that's in your electrical aisle. And this is the flange right down here, which is in the plumbing aisle, just in case you want to replicate that. Um, but then as far as the maker pipe goes and the frame, here's a good picture that we can check out. There is there's a door. Uh, they used all 90 degrees and T connectors. And for the door, I think I can see two T connectors there uh, making this frame. And then they did another few T connectors here, here to create this back section uh, up high and then mid level, uh, 90 degrees back here. I assume I can't see them, but that kind of gives a place to mount the hot water heater and give the whole thing uh, some more rigidity and strength. Uh, looks good. I, I like that. There can't be too many connectors, just a few, not too expensive. And then uh, covered the whole thing with that reed fabric or reed cloth. Uh, I guess it would be reed material. I'm not sure what you call it. Uh, not too expensive. And then some vinyl curtain to finish it all off. Uh, looks like a great solution, Thomas. Thanks so much for sharing that. We love seeing it. Shows a lot of creativity and ingenuity, and he didn't spend a lot of money. So uh, if you like those things, if you want to see more builds like this, please consider subscribing. We do this series every week, uh, showing off the creativity of our community members. We'll see you next time. Thanks so much.